Hey guys, and welcome to the mod review of the Massey Ferguson 6980. This is part of the 2015 mod contest for Farming Simulator 15. Now, as you may have noticed, I'm just doing the mods that really sparked my interest, and this did because, uh, me personally, I love these Massey Ferguson front ends. And it is a very, very nice made model. It looks amazing. There's a few bits that I could nitpick at and seeing some of the shadow work up in there and whoop, up in the back there. But honestly guys, it's a beautiful little tractor. It really is. Looks phenomenal. Sounds phenomenal. And just works. Getting close. Light that up for you. See the side of the engine, the fuel Fill a cap, diesel tank underneath that, the cab. The side of the engine, the alternator, fuel filters. So on and so forth. The exhaust stack there, and of course the air breather. Mirrors, front and rear working lights, and a little beacon. And of course you've got your tail lights there. So the cab. Pretty nice, pretty basic, just like these tractors probably were. Couple of negatives I've got. In the cab, as it appears, if you switch the lights off, the uh, gauges don't light up. So that's headlights there. On off, and I imagine. Yep. Numeric keypad, five for the front, six for the rear. And of course, your home key for your beacon. That. Yeah, kind of not a fan of personally. Switch them off, and lights, and of course you've got your indicators. We'll uh, start it up so you can hear it. I like the noise of this thing. It does sound pretty damn nice. Switch it off quick. We do also have IC control. Hit space bar. You have your left door, your window that you can barely see, uh, the right, well, find my cursor, the right door, left window, and of course again your back window. You can't even tell it's open. There's no handle or anything like that. I imagine there would have been some sort of hand and probably some gas struts go into it, but you can't even see it's open. You just about see it along that line there and along this line. So shut it up. No roof vents or anything like that to worry about on IC. I don't believe there's anything else down there. No, there's not. Okay, we'll start it back up. Gauges don't work, neither. That is another disappointment. Absolutely no lights on the gauges. I have ran into a small issue with the rear hookup here seems like it may only accept certain types of trailers. Uh, the Fugal bale trailer. It wouldn't want to connect up to that and I was hoping it would. So possibly when the mod, co mod contest is open could do a tweak in making it so you more attachments can attach to that little guy. Uh, we'll take for a drive and you can hear the noise. Of course working mirrors. Take it over to the test track. The tire wind sound is another mod that I've got in, so yours won't do that. Alright, the first part we'll take it over is these little bumps here that I do mainly so the front suspension would get a workout, and to my surprise, I'm seeing more of this. The front axle does pivot like it's supposed to. The spindles do seem like they aren't attached to the axle, but uh, I think that's more giant's issue than mod. But it seems to be functioning beautifully. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll take a quick drive. It's really it showcased the front suspension. There, you can really see the spindles unattached to that beam axle there. 
over to this little patch here. Another mod pack I've got. I've got a little tractor, a uh, little plow, and this little plow is hooked up to our Massey Ferguson here. That still seems to be going along good and strong. So we'll put the brakes on this. Have a little fail. Now we'll put the brakes on things. And now you can see how dirty it actually gets. These weights do not come with the mod. I just put it on there for effect and to show the well plow off with it on. And it did work, it did help it. It seems to plow quite nice. Here's the dirty texture. Uh, nothing inside. The cab is as clean as the other one over there. But that's what the dirty effect looks like. Pretty nice. Maybe a little overkill on the rear tyres. Does look like it's stretched out a little bit, so that could do if possible some tweaking, but... Nitpicking. Honestly guys, solid tractor here. For a small yard work, and for some epic photos, yeah, you got a winner in this little tractor. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's what they look like. Both clean and dirty. Catch you guys later. See ya.